Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add menu items to the user interface. In this case, a gallery menu, which is also known as a drop-down menu. To get started, you will need a Visual Components 4.0 product, for example, Essentials, Professional, or Premium, and a text editor, because we're going to be using Python API to create a Python add-on that will allow us to create the menu items. Let's now open a text editor. I will be using Notepad++. If you are using Notepad++, I recommend you make one change. Click the Settings menu, click Preferences, select Language, then select Python, and then select the Replace by Space checkbox here. I'll now close this. And when you want to add menu items, you need to import a method from VC application. I have a new file open, so I will say from VC application, import, you could import everything, or just the method. So it's called add menu item. I actually will make one change here. I'll set my language to be Python so we can see the syntax highlight. Let's now add a gallery menu, which is a placeholder for drop down menu options. So I'll leave a comment here gallery menu. And we'll now use that method of add menu item. The first argument is the site path or the location of the control in the user interface. So you can use a constant or an ID that you can find in the configuration file of your 4.0 product. I will use an ID and I'll say VC tab teach and this points to the program tab. I'll then add a forward slash and you can give the name of an existing group in the ribbon or your own brand new group. So I will create a brand new group called our group. The next argument is the label or caption for the control and I will call it add-ons. The next argument is the order of the control in the group. So I'll say negative one. The next argument is the controls ID. So this can refer to a command, but in this case, a gallery menu, you can give a default or some type of generic name for it. So I will use GM tool. And when you want to localize this menu item, you have to refer to this ID as well as when you're adding items to this menu. Let's now go to the next argument, which is the tooltip. I'll pass an empty string. The next argument is an icon path, or the icon for the control. I'll pass an empty string. The next argument is the reference ID. We can pass an empty string, but we'll talk about that later. And the last argument is the control type. So this is a gallery menu tool. And that's it. Let's now add items to this gallery menu. So we'll use the same method again, add menu item. And that first argument of the site path it has to be the same group. So VC tab teach forward slash our group forward slash. And now you have to give the section name where you want to group the menu option. So I will have one first section called variables. I then have to give the label or caption name for the control. So I will call this add program variable. And then we have to give its order in that section. So I'll say negative one. And this negative one, this is just adding the control to the last uh, position in the, in the group or the section. Then we have to give the control ID and you can pass an empty string here, that's fine. Or you can also reference a command ID that you want to use when you click the menu item. But for this video right now, we're just going to use this as a placeholder. So later on, you can create your own commands that you want to call from this menu item. And the next argument is the tooltip. We can pass an empty string, pass an empty string for the icon for the control. And then the next argument is the reference ID for what menu this item has to belong to, what gallery. So our gallery ID, we can see here, is GM tool. And the last argument is the control type. This is going to be a gallery menu tool item. So this is a drop-down option that is listed in a drop-down control or a gallery menu. And that's it. So we can add a, one more menu item. So I will copy this line of code, then add another line. So paste that. 
it's still in the same section. Now one thing about these section names, you can localize them as well. You just have to refer to the section name. Now for this control, I will call it delete program variable. And that's pretty much about it. You know, it's still referring to the same gallery and it's still a gallery menu tool item. Let's add one more. And I will put this in a different section. And I'll name that section schema. And for the label or caption, I'll call it add position data. And everything else is still the same. It's still the same gallery. It's still the same control type, but now it's in a different section. Let's now save this file. So go here. And you want to save this in the My Commands folder in your Visual Components documents. And since this is a Python add-on, what we created is the initialization file for the add-on. So it's going to be two underscores for the file name, followed by I N I T underscore underscore and give it the Python extension of PY. And save. And now we can restart the application or the 4.0 product to see our add-on or our new menu items. Okay, my 4.0 product is open. I will now go to the program tab because that's where I place the control. And you can see here in the ribbon, there's a new group called R group. And here's my gallery menu called add-ons. And you can see since I did not pass any icon path, you know, the control is using the default icon for a Python add-on. And when I click it, you can see here are the drop-down options, which are grouped into different sections. So we have the variable section with two menu items and the schema section with one item. Notice here we can edit the labels of these variables and maybe give them tool tips. You can also maybe change the icons as well. Let's do that now. So I will go back to my text editor. And now for our menu items here, let's change this to be add. And then we'll give it a tooltip, which is this argument here. So add a global variable to robot program. And then the next menu item, we'll call that delete. And give it a tooltip of delete a global variable from robot program. And for our add position data, we can just leave that blank. We don't need to give a tooltip. For the icon, you can use the icons that come with the 4.0 product, and you can find those in your program files. So if I go there now, go to my C drive, program files, visual components. I'm using visual components premium 4.0, and you should see this folder here called icons. So if you place your icon in this folder, you can reference it very easily by name. And you can also use these icons too. So I can use this R add icon and a R delete icon. And notice these are SVG files. So we can reference them by name in the argument here. So after the tooltip is the icon path, and I'll just call it R add. The next menu item will be R delete. And since you can pass an SVG file, you can create your own icon using a path. And I'll show you how to do that now. I will create a variable called icon path, and I'll set this to equal a string. And the string value here is the D attribute of a path element in an SVG file. So if I go back to my icons, and then go to the R add icon here. I can right click and open it in Notepad. And you can see it has a path element and a D attribute here. So notice I can't add the fill element, but I can add the path information here for drawing it. So I will copy this, go back to my file here, paste it in and assign it to this variable. And for our add position data, let's now pass that variable for this icon, for this menu item, I mean. And we should see a difference because here we're referencing the image file itself and the last menu item, we're just drawing the icon. I'll now save the file and restart my 4.0 product. Okay, my 4.0 product is open. I'll now go back to the program tab. And if I go to my R group, click the add-ons menu. You can see now we have those icons for the add, delete, 
and add position data and when I point at one of the items in the variable section you can see its tooltip. So we have add a global variable to robot program and the option to delete a global variable from robot program. And notice the add position data menu item here. Its icon is white because I'm using a dark theme but if I was using a light theme for the application this would be black and that's the default color scheme for an hexadecimal color of 393939. But you can see here this add menu item here is using an image and that's why it's green not this default color here. Let's now have our buttons do something. So when I click this menu item for add, you can see in the output panel I get command not found, check command registration. That's because there's no command associated with this menu item, so when I click it it's not really doing anything. But we can fix that. I'll go back to my text editor and let's now create our own command file. So I'll create a new file in Notepad and I will start by importing VC command. I'll just import everything and I will set the language to be Python. Then let's define a function for the first state of the command. So when we execute the command, what will be done? And I'll just say print output. And then let's have the command object itself. So I'll say cmd equals get command. And this command object allows you to get the application. So I can say app equals cmd dot application. And with the application object, let's go ahead and show a message box. So let's say app dot message box. There we go. And let's actually get the result of the message box. So output equals app dot message box. And then we'll print that then we have to add this function as the first state of our command. So I'll use a method called addState and pass that function as the argument. And there we go. So we use the commands from VC command to get the command object, the application object, to display a message box and then print the output based on what button a user clicks in the message box. We now need to save this file as a command file and I'll save it in my My Commands folder and I will call the file example.py and now I need to load this command in my Python add-on initialization file here so let's go and get the command URI first or the path to that command and we need to import a method called load command and get application path so this method get application path that will get you the path to your my commands folder. So get application path plus a string that defines the name of the command file, which in our case is example.py. Then we'll load the command. So cmd equals load command, and this takes two arguments. The second argument is the path to the command. So we'll use that command uri and the first argument is the ID you associate with that command. So when the command is loaded it is registered to the application and you can call it in any menu item by its ID. So let's call the ID add robot variable and hopefully you see where this is going. You can add two more commands called delete robot variable, add position data, and reference them here in your menu items. Now when you go to localize your command you can use a .NET command and you're localizing the command itself not these menu items but of course if you want to localize the gallery menu you localize based on this ID and for your sections the section IDs here. But enough about that let's actually call that command for our add menu item and we'll just pass in the command ID which is you can see it here. It's called add robot variable. And this should be fine. I'll now save the file. And let's restart our 4.0 product and test. Okay, my 4.0 product is open. I'll go to the program tab. And then in my R group, I'll click the add ons gallery menu. Then click add. Here's a message box. So when I click abort, 
we can see in the output panel it printed zero. Okay, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.